What is going on YouTube? So just a quick update. Finally getting everything out of the house. So you guys can see. Look, all my shoes are there. Everything's packed and everything. All my TV and shit. And it's just so for that. Keen to get out of here. We just can't. My auntie Joy's room. It's my auntie's room. Clean as a baby. It's my mom's room. My parents' room. Damn. look at my damn room one last look can I see everything's all packed and everything I actually did a pretty good job and on my shoes on um, those boxes you know what I mean and now we're heading off to the to the hotel that we're gonna be staying at real quick hotel we're gonna be staying at and then we're gonna spend at least like two nights there so and I'm gonna be the hard to um, to get out of here. So we'll be staying there, and then we're gonna catch a fucking plane, catch a plane to Melbourne, and then yeah, just soak with it. You know what I mean? What is up, y'all? So I'm finally on my camera. You know what I'm saying? Now, so I am finally in Melbourne. You know what I'm saying? But I'm really sorry, guys. I, I told myself I was gonna film the whole thing. But like when I was, I told myself we was gonna film at the airport as well. But um, as soon as I got to the airport, man, it was just a lot of goodbyes. It was just really emotional and just I just couldn't film, you know. I couldn't film, and I just wanted to say goodbye to my homies and my homegirls. You know what I mean? Like just enjoy the moment, enjoy the present moment. Like you know what I mean? Just those times that like we just. Those times when you just can't have a camera in your face, you know, you just, you just got, and I was like, it was just very emotional. There was a lot of crying as well. Shout out to y'all, I love y'all, and shout out to all to those who came to the airport, and I love y'all, I miss y'all, and um, especially um, shout out to my main boys, Ali, Ari, Caleb, um, who else? Peter, Ace, all you niggas out there. Who else am I? Mark Moolboy, you know what I'm saying? Mark Pammy, you know what I'm saying? Like, I love y'all. And I'm just gonna miss y'all. It was just very emotional. But now that I'm in Melbourne, you know what I'm saying? Life's gonna be great. And I'm just really happy to be here. Really happy. I'm out of Darwin. Got that small town mentality, dog. Like, everybody there is just comfortable and they don't wanna elevate. I mean, like, it's really hard place to elevate at because like, everybody there is comfortable, you know what I mean? That's why I wanted to leave that place. That's why I just really wanted to leave that place because everything, like, it's just a really s small place. Everybody's comfortable. All they do is go out every weekend, like, go out every weekend, drink and shit. Like, it's not, it's not my, that ain't for me, you know what I mean? Like, that's for you then that's for you but like for me like I want life and I don't wanna I don't need to get away from you know what I mean cuz that's the majority of doing like right like what they're doing is um that would work nine to five right they're, they would work the whole week and on the weekend they would get fucked up just to get away from the reality 
because they don't like what they're doing every day. You know what I mean? They don't like their jobs. They don't like what they do for a living. That's why um, it's really, really. That's why it's really hard for me to stay at that place, bro. Like, cause everyone's like that. They got no. They're um. Everyone like not everyone, but like the majority. The majority in that place are like that, but. That's, even in the world, you know what I mean. Like the majority of the world is like that. Like. They just get a job that they don't like, and then they just work for it, and then they want to go on holidays. They want to go out on the weekends because they want to get away from their reality for me like i want a job I, I want not a job i don't want a job like i want i want to do what i want to do in my life you know i want to do what i love to do every single day and loving the process you know that's what i'm talking about loving the process like love what you do every single day so like it's not even about the result not even about the outcome of anything it's like it's just the doing it's not about the money it's not about the money and all that not about the fame like it's just uh doing what you love every single day and that's that's what i'm here for that's what i'm about to pursue that's why i'm not I'm not like faced about all that school stuff you know what i mean like none of that because where does that lead you to it leads you to a job that you don't like you know what i mean that's what, that's what the majority is saying like that's what the society tells you to do get a job nine to five job you know what i mean but it's all good, like, I'm here in Melbourne now. It's gonna be a lot, a lot of growth and development from here, cause it's gonna be good life, you know what I mean? I'm gonna be grinding, and hopefully, hopefully, stop my own business here soon. I mean, like, I already got my own business, but it ain't really, like, that big. I'm gonna grow that business, and um, I'm gonna just keep growing, keep building on my empire, you know what I mean? And, I love y'all. Thank love y'all and Darwin. All my people in Darwin, I love y'all. Oh, thanks for the love and support. And um watch out for my vlogs because I'm gonna be vlogging a lot more in here because you know, you know what I mean? It's Melbourne man, like and I searched it up too, like there's not a lot of, a lot of vloggers in Melbourne, like how do you I'm probably gonna be a the best vlogger in here, no, I mean, not joking, just kidding, bro. But, um, yeah, I'm looking forward to this life, new chapter in my life. And, like, leaving behind, leaving Darwin behind was a really, really hard thing to do for me, but you gotta do what you gotta do to elevate. You gotta separate yourself from the pact if you wanna elevate, you know what I mean? Like, because if you think about, if you think about the people you're surrounded with, right, what, what are they doing on a daily basis? Cause Success is not determined about success is not determined about what you did in school or what you finished. It's all, it's success is determined about like your daily habits. Like what do you do every single day? What are you doing every single day? Are you doing the things that will help you elevate and grow? Or are you just And and in Darwin as well, like I was talking to this chick, right? We just chatting, right? This teenager. She was a teenager, right? She was like, "Oh, it's holidays. I don't need to learn. I don't need to learn because it's school holidays." I was like, and I thought to myself, I was like, I didn't want to tell her, you know what I mean? Because I don't want to ban the bitch, you know what I mean? But I was like, that's that's the wrong. That's like that's what the majority are getting wrong. Like just because it's school, there's no school doesn't mean not learning. That's why I that's why I never really like school because they they teach things the wrong way. You know what I mean? Like only learn when it's school time, you know what I mean? Like, for me, like, learn something new every single day. Like, I read things every single day. I read books every single day. Like, but with the majority of teenagers and, like, people, like, they only learn when they're at school. And and after that, they don't, they stop learning. And that's what I don't get. Like, it ain't supposed to be like that. Like, that's why I never really cared about what people are saying about me. Like, oh. Uh, what are you doing with school and shit? Like, I don't care about school because, like, what are they teaching you? It's the relevant shit. I ain't gonna be using that. Like, that's why, like, I don't know. People are just, I don't know. I'm just really happy to be out of that place. Out of that. It was just, I was just surrounded by a lot of negativity out there and just, it just wasn't, wasn't the best life.
But now that I'm here, there's a lot of opportunities, a lot of great people, a lot of positive people here. But yeah, I'm just really, but I'm really sad though. I'm really sad to leave my friends behind. I mean, like, since day one, y'all, since day one, y'all love y'all. You know, y'all know that, right? Since day one. And I'm 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 gonna say goodbye for now. You know what I mean. Thanks for watching this video. I I'll just a little quick update about my life and where my YouTube channel is headed. So I'm gonna be vlogging a lot more. So keep I'll keep y'all posted and stay tuned. You know what I mean. So like, comment, and subscribe, y'all. Love y'all. Peace out.